And in the meantime, you have to do what you have to do to support your family and serve your community, whatever that is. A truck driver is serving, is driving, carrying material from one area to another area. Without our respected truck drivers, we wouldn't have food in our supermarkets. We wouldn't have supplies in our hardware stores, in our hospitals. Somebody has to deliver that. Somebody has to do that work. So they're just as worthy as someone who's preaching the words of God. They're serving. Okay. Oh my God, it's 11.57. What happened? It just, time flew. Hi, Michelle. Have we spoken before? You seem like... No. no is, is this your first time that you've joined us? Yes. Yeah. My very, very first time. Okay. But, um, we have a mutual friend, and um, he invited me to this. Evan? Evan? Evan from heaven? Yeah, he plays the didgeridoo. Yeah. E so, Evan Perman. Yes. So that's why I'm here. Are you in Sedona? Is that where you're residing? Tennessee. Okay, okay. Because Evan is visiting Sedona right now. I thought maybe that's how he mentioned this. I, yeah. I just knew I was supposed to be here and I arrived later, just three days ago, but I dreamt about it, which was really interesting, but it's also what I wanted and needed for my own experience as well. Oh. As, um, I figured out how to be on video because today I needed to be physical with everyone to connect. Wonderful. But yesterday, yesterday I didn't know how to do it. Right, I get it. I'm not, I'm not very technical. Thank God to Mr. Amir, my office manager and my savior that does everything. But yeah, I'm, I have a hard time with these kind of applications. Today, so oh yeah. The memo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I I didn't notice your black and white till you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. Your dots will fit in. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, welcome and we do our academy which is similar to this every Wednesday, so you're always welcome to join in. Yeah, you just have to, is there a different registration for the academy than here? Yeah, you just have to go back to our website and re-register through the academy. And then we'll send you the link and the password. Thank you Yeah, so you're much. welcome. You're welcome. I'm so grateful for you, you being present with everyone and inspiring and encouraging us. Well, thank you. We're grateful that you're here with us. <laughs> okay, so, my God, I, I didn't realize. At one point, I look at the time, and it was like 11.30, and then the next thing I look at it, it's almost 12. So, um, <laughs> we are going to meet... On, hi, Amy. Are you calling me? Yeah, yeah. Were you were you pointing out to me, Miss Amy? Yes. Yeah, um. Yeah, I had a question. So, okay. Sorry, I know you're wrapping up. Okay. Um. I just saw. Uh, I, I was listening to everyone and uh, realizing there's like uh, this, you know, awareness of continuing this and I had like a strong intuition to uh, continue on this journey and I know you have the academy but I, I wanted to, to ask and sorry that it's at the wrong time but um, I know we're closing up um, if you had any uh, what, like what what is the best way to continue on this journey I know you talked about uh, the the coaching the one-on-one -on -one coaching and I felt like very connected with that and I feel like I wanted to uh, continue on that journey 
Right. And um, my intuition told me to that. So I wanted to, to ask if, if you can go a little bit more into, into that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the uh, that's the life training program is the one-on-one -on -one tailor-made uh, life coaching program that I uh, created this year, and uh, I started admitting uh, participants in April of 2020, and uh, it's something that was on the back of my mind and I wanted to do it, but I wasn't able to do it because for the past 10 years, I've been going back and forth between Las, uh, the US and Europe. Uh, and then it intensified. So I started going three times a year. So I just was something I wasn't able to do. I couldn't handle being uh, committed to having students and work with them for three to five months regularly while I was traveling, doing my foreign travel. So I could never manifest and do it till the pandemic happened. And uh, when the pandemic happened and I was grounded like everybody else, it was like, okay, now this is an opportunity to provide a number of different things. I can intensify the academy. I can offer workshops and retreats. Um, I can offer free events like we're doing, and I can have paid events. But it was something I wanted to do for a long time to provide free content and connect. But in the meantime, you have to make a living to get this wheel running and be able to produce quality videos, podcasts, service so you you have to figure out a way of okay how can i serve but in the meantime you have one foot on on the ground and one foot in the heaven and you have to deal with life and the expenses of life so the, the life training program came and it was like okay now i can offer this to those who are really committed they're set, they're very close to this transition of awakening. Uh, now, different people participate for different reasons, but generally that was my idea that I can create a platform, I can create this particular program because I know of being on that side of my own hangups and the areas that I couldn't get over. And I needed someone badly to work with me. And I think I would have made it years before if I had that, but I didn't have it. I didn't have that kind of support. And also internet wasn't as widely available and we didn't have Zoom. so. Now the setting is perfect. And by designing this program, it was like, okay, it's going to be a tailor-made program for those seekers of the truth that I can meet with them once a week. I can give them their specific homeworks and step-by-step -step lead them to self-realization or towards the goal that they're they're coming to me or whatever that is but in that path of coming to self-realization or whatever their goal is they're going to discover something very valuable within themselves because the teaching is coming from bringing you the attention to silence and going beyond the mind and basically diving into the presence but we somehow have to weed it out. We got to get rid of all these other stuff that first is in the front, whether it's childhood abandonments, there's any kind of like sexual traumas or whatever trauma that has happened, which has pretty much happened to a lot of us. 